Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Patrick Razovate. I just want to take this time to apologize for the technical glitch that we experienced earlier on. And uh, at the moment, it has been resolved. So we are going to continue with our presentation for our online session. Uh, the aim of this session today is to try and explain how teachers can register online, either registering learners to get question papers by email or to register online and write online. We are going to go through the process of registering for South African Mathematics Challenge. I want to believe that most of those who have, read, who have logged on today have participated before in the South African Mathematics Challenge. This is a competition for primary school learners from grade four to grade seven. And it is there to firstly expose learners to problem solving techniques and to try and identify talented learners. It comprises of three levels or three rounds. It does have round the first round, that is round one, and the round one will take place from the 11th of March, the 15th of March. Learners will be writing at their own schools and some of the learners will be writing online. That is what I'm going to be explaining today. And after round one, those who have obtained 50% and above will qualify to continue to round two. Round two will be written at your schools, but the schools will send in the answer sheet to some of, and they're going to be marked here at South African Mass Foundation. After round two has been written, the top 400 learners, approximately 400 learners, that is about 100 learners from each grade, will be identified according to performance, and they will be able to qualify to write for round three. And from each uh, grade, we are going to have grade four and grade five grouped together to write it as junior learners and grade six and grade seven will be writing as senior learners. And from the senior group and the junior group, we are going to have the top 10 learners being selected to receive awards at the South African MS Foundation's award function. The South African MS Foundation has upgraded its database to allow schools to be able to register online. They can register online. And once they register online, they can write the exam online and register online, but still will have to receive papers through an email. They are going to write pen and paper. So for both pen and paper and online, you can still register online, but you can continue to register online and write online. The aim of this presentation today is try and demonstrate how schools can register online. I'm going to do a live demonstration of how we register online at the present moment. I'm saying as you go to the, our website, you have to go to www.sound.ac.za. Once you have logged in on the screen, you are going to see a page like this. Uh, with this page, you are able to can access a few things on our website uh, because we're dealing with this South African Mathematics Challenge. If you go to Challenge, you see that there's online entry. But before you can go there, you'll see that there is option on your right hand side, register, and another option is log in. If you have logged or if you have registered before with the South African Mathematics Foundation website, you can use your credentials that the login details that you used before to log into the South African Mass Foundation website. But if you are new, you still have to register to put in your details to register uh, your details and you'll be able to later use those credentials to log in into the South African Mass Foundation. But if you are not registered and you go to the home page of the South African Mass Foundation, this is what you are going to see. And you can only see um, for a challenge uh, what the challenge is all about. 
and get important dates of when to register and when to submit the registration forms and how to register. And if you have any problem, you are able to can contact us. Uh, the number that you can use is 0745157463. At the present moment, I'm going to demonstrate how we register. Uh, firstly, I have to log in. That is if I have all the credentials. Uh, I'm going to register with my uh, credentials so that you see how to register. You just put in your email address and put your password and you log in. Once you have logged in, you'll see that the top right uh, corner of your screen has changed. You know, now you can log out. Now you can see the details of your account once you have logged in. But this time we want to register. We go now to the challenge so that we can register online. That is online entry. Now I go to online entry. You can see that once I go to online entry, uh, my credentials have been linked to a school. This time is the school is 12742. The name of the school is Demonstration Schools. It is linked to the details that I used to log on. On the screen, you'll see a number of options that you can look at. The first one, you have uh, the school details there. We have the challenge entries. We have learner details and finance details. I'm going to start off with the school details. It is very important that once you see the school details there, you need to check the details of your school, whether they are correct or not. Because we chose the online entries, you think that there's online South African schools there. And the information that we have uh, supplied is printed for, that is a school. And please check the address of the school. And uh, that is the postal address and the street address. The street address is very important because at some stage, we are going to be querying the question papers to your school. So it is important that you complete this section uh, as with as much details as possible. The school telephone number, the fax number, the email address, and the name of the organizer. The cell phone is very important because at some stage you have uh, queries that you need to resolve and you have to contact the uh, school organizer. So please make sure that you fill in this, uh, the mobile number here. The information about the school also is very important. We need to know how many learners are at your school. We need to know whether this is a public or private or uh, independent school. The school is from a rural or is the school being supported by the MST department or not? This page is very important. Make sure that it is having as much correct information as possible. Once this information is completed, you need to navigate now to challenge entries. Now that is where you are going to start entering your learners. Uh, I'll be entering the number of learners who will be registering. Let's suppose from demonstration schools, we want to enter seven learners. And uh, this is how you go about uh, We enter two learners, grade five. You see, I've entered two black learners for grade four. And you go to grade five, depending on the number and the race or the demographics of learners you have at your school. Now I'm entering two learners here. And I'm going to enter uh, one learner. That is the demographic of the learners. You need to know the demographic because we normally have to report to either Department for, of Education or other stakeholders regarding who is participating in the challenge. Having to enter the grades, I mean, the gender is also extremely important. Here I have one male and I have one female. I also have one male and I have one female. I have one male, I have one female. I choose to have this one as one female. Once you have entered this information here, you need to capture it by saving the changes into our database. Now I'm going to save these changes. So it is capturing the information. The information has been captured 
as you go down to check whether the information is moved this is what you're going to see. You know that we have entered seven entries and the cost of the entries has been populated. Again here, this, it means it's going to be seven entries times 25 francs for online entries. Uh, it is very important after you've done this, you need to check this finance information and whether it tallies with the finance details that appears here. We do have learner details. We'll go back to the learner details later. Let me first go to the finance details so that we see whether this information tallies with the one that is below. I press that finance details. You can see that the entries cost has been populated as 75 francs here. Now I'm going to go back to the challenge entries. And if you look at this, the other after scene, we do have the payments checkout and we do have the invoice. If you go to payments checkout, some schools are able to can pay using the credit cards and you can use the payments checkout. And you must also check if this payment checkout tallies with the number of entries that you have entered. You can see that now you have 25 francs times seven, which is 175. And you continue with this payment checkout with the pay fast and be able to pay with the credit card. And if we go back to the other screen, if you have to pay or you are going to pay using the FE, EFT, you are able to can create an invoice from here. You press this and you'll be able to develop an invoice. And this will be your invoice. Then you can use this invoice to pay later with the EFT. We are going to look at the registration. These are the registration details of the school. And I have demonstrated that we are able to can get an invoice for, for, for that particular school. And we have registered seven learners. Uh, the next step that I want to uh, explain is that once you have registered a school, you should be getting an automatic email that confirms that you have registered your school and to confirm that the school has now been registered. And the next step will be, once you have registered, you'll be able, if you have chosen an online option, you'll be able to later to write online, but you can still um, register online, you're going to be receiving question papers from some. The next step will be, we need, you to register the learners who are going to write because we want to, the, 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 the system is going to mark the question papers automatically. So you need to upload the Excel sheet into the database. If you go down on the display, you see that there's an Excel sheet there. This Excel sheet you can download. Once you have downloaded it, you have to save it into your device, into either into your computer so that you'll be able to edit it and enter the names of, of the I'm going to download the Excel sheet so that you see. We do have the Excel sheet and on the Excel sheet, I've already included the names of learners. I'm going to go back to grade four. We do have two learners registered and you can see the race of learners indicated in X and the gender. Grade five, two learners have been registered. Also, the race of the learners and the gender. Grade six, same thing. Names of learners, the name and the surname. Race and the gender. We start one learner for grade seven. We also have to indicate the race and the gender. Uh, I'm going to go back to our website. We are going to choose the Excel file from the PC. And the Excel file already appears here. We're going to choose the Excel file. We open it. Once you have chosen it from our device, the Excel file will appear here next to choose the file. Now that it appears, we can import the file into the database by importing it here, and you are going to import it now. We have imported 
the Excel sheet. Once you have imported the Excel sheet, you now have to go to the learner details to see whether it has been imported correctly. These are the names of learners who have been registered on the database. We included the names on this screen and later on, we took the names and put them on the Excel sheet and uploaded the, uh, the Excel sheet on the database. Names of learners will then appear on the learner details. If you look closely at the list here, you see this learner, Torah Torah. It's a grade four learner and it's a black learner. That is the learner code. Each learner will be having an exam code. And this exam code will have the school code will have the grade of the learner, and we also have the learner code. So it's very important that this information is put on the Excel sheet as I explained earlier on. So these are the learners. We had two learners for grade four, two learners for grade five, two learners for grade six, and one learner for grade seven. This is all the learners that are being registered and are going to be paid for. An expectation is that at the end of the day, these learners are the ones that are going to be writing the examination. Later on, we will be sharing information about how these learners are going to write. As I explained on, challenge will be written on the 15th to, I mean, 11 to the 15th of March, and the closing date for the for registration will be the 1st of March. It is very important that if you want to register, it should be before then. But if you don't want to register online, you still have an opportunity of getting the registration form. You can get the registration form by going to our website also. You can download it and print it and email it to us, then you can register. At this stage, I don't know if there are any questions related to the presentation that I've made. Thank you very much. If, in the absence of questions, if you need to get more information regarding this registration process or you want to get um, forms or to get more information, our website is www.sum.ac.za or you can email info at sound.ac.za. These are this, our Facebook handle. And we have a landline number also that can be used. Uh, I just wonder how many are still using the fax at this stage, but this is the fax number that you're having. But if you still want to contact me directly, this is my email address and that is my mobile number. You can still use it. On top of it, I just want to encourage teachers to we make sure that they are part of our WhatsApp group because on our WhatsApp group, we are going to be sharing information on a continuous basis. So make sure that you are registered on the WhatsApp group. And uh, it's available that once you are there, you are going to get a regular update about the challenge. But you must also check your emails because uh, we sometimes send emails, I mean, information through the email address. This video is going to be recorded and it's going to be published later on our YouTube channel. By any chance, if you miss something, you can go back and look at that video, or you can share it or inform other colleagues about it. Thank you very much.